My name is Mutaza. I'm a park ranger here. I work almost 20 years here in the Orangutan. How, so, how do the animals come here? Uh, this is no Orangutan here. Uh, some, uh, some Orangutan surrendered here. Some we seized, some confiscated. So we received more than 40 Orangutan, probably 43 from public. Then we start to train them to be wild. Train them to be wild? To be wild, yes. How do you do that? Uh, it takes many, many years. So at the first stage, we have to be patient. We put case there. We have many cases before. If you see this, I think more than 30 cases there. We have not only orang tan case, we have bird case, we have seabed case, a lot of cages there. Now all the animal was released, so case was not this unmaintained anymore because they are already back to the wild. This is our, our concept is that uh, what we are going to do here it's not we encourage, we not encourage uh, orang tan to come, we encourage them to be wild. For us, if you don't see them, it's a good sign they can more independent. But maybe a TV is planted for the visitors, those who really want to come to see them, but suddenly they're not around. But you have to think in the conservation view of when it's good, you know. But I hope people will know between conservation and like uh, a place in a zoo. Okay. Today we saw some of the orangutans yes. come for feeding. Can you tell us something about those particular ones that we saw? Yeah, the one you saw is old lady. This is about uh, 48 years now. Uh, of course, uh, she's quite old already. She moved everything to her is very slow. Diet chain everything a little bit more, but she's still very healthy in a good condition. Hopefully, she can reach more than 50. And you don't think she can go to the wild? Uh, hope, I don't think so because almost end of her life, so she still depend, still depend on us. But the things is that during non fruiting during fruiting season, they not been seen. So meaning they can survive also in the wild, uh, compete with other animals to get some food. See, so do we not 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 worry about this river because they know very every inch of this forest, they know very well. How large is your company? This area, yes. we have 653 hectares. Uh, we have uh, three components here. We have uh, uh, a biodiversity center. We have uh, uh, this one, we call a botanical research center. We have uh, three, four, uh, three forestry seed bank also inside this area. From from this component, we do together. Yes. Uh, the, the, the wildlife here, they can go wherever they want. They can go in and out because the forest is not uh, uh, chain or, or fencing, you know, it's open. So we had some little ones, we had a little one. Yes. How old is she? The one you saw, the mother just now, is uh, about three years old. And we had the newborn baby about one week old. Yeah, yes, born on 26th of July. Uh, we are still uh, waiting for her tendon or coming to check the condition. But today, she's not coming. So uh, maybe, hopefully, she always around to get some food from her. Because they need food, they need more energy. Okay. How, how long do the mothers live? Uh, for the breastfeeding, it's about three years. But for the flowing, the, I mean, uh, from baby to mother, it's still flow up, up to seven or eight years. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the car again. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye